Hey everybody, welcome back to Pure Snow Runner. Today on the agenda is Smithville Dam. As you can see, we have nothing discovered. So the goal is to find all six towers, or seven towers, whatever it ends up being. One, two, three, four, five, six towers. Which will open up the map that we can see. I always do this um, just because it opens everything up. It opens up where the missions are and some of the upgrades, yada, yada, yada. Upgrades will be next video. But in that case, I'm going to make it morning and off we go. So we have our trusty, what is it, the oh, Lone Star 1700 JBE. And we're off. Let's see how quickly we can do six towers. Shifted it a low. Oops. Low, because it's so steep here that if you're not watching what you're doing, you're going to go. Yeah, you're going to tip it forward first. A over T. Alrighty. And I believe there's a bunch of upgrade locations. Seven or eight on this map. Eight, I think find out in the next video but uh all right first tower uh, right here it's the uh one right below the garage here's the garage straight down boom 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 okay. up into the little blue box hit the square button done now we can move on Now, when I play this on my own, which I have been playing on my own the other account, I do things a little bit differently, but for video recording purposes, I'm going to do it this way. Otherwise, I'm multitasking, doing all kinds of different things, setting up for other missions and all kinds of things. Um, the game is played differently than when I'm playing. Not for, for me, anyway. We're heading for second tower. Um, go through the swamp area here. Again, not going for upgrades, just going for towers. Next video will be upgrades. And then uh, the one after that will probably be. You know, I found the easiest way to find this tower or get to it. So this is your garage. You have to open up this thing here too. So I'm, I'm glad I didn't go that way because it's not opened yet. That's a separate mission. So we need to go into the farm. This is what they call the farm. And we're going to cut through the back side of this silo. You could take this path, but it's just as easy as you'll see <coughs> to do it this way. Mm -hmm. What I do is I cut between the silo and the... Uh, Thing here. You don't need that fence. And here's your tower. The window, hit the launch. That's two. Here we go. And we got to be careful not to tip over. Stupid about this. Throttle, throttle. All right, so now we got to cut through here because the other tower is actually pretty close to the oil rig. Um, we're not triggering, or I'm not picking up any missions, tasks, or any of that stuff either. That'll be another video. We'll go through the whole map and pick up the uh, tasks. But we do have one that we want to do before that. So, I mean, as they come along, I don't want to spoil it, so no spoilers. Next video will be the uh, upgrades. Uh, this one should fall on a Thursday. So Saturday's video will be upgrades. 
hopefully I can get that one. <laughs> I hope everybody's been doing well. Uh, thank you so much for all the feedback, all the hellos as of this point. Um, subscribers is awesome. Uh, I wouldn't complain if I had more. Just, just, just saying. So, as you see, this is the drilling site. Um, we are going to just go all in arse across the swamp, as you'll see. This thing should make it. God, I hope so, because there's no winch points. It would be very bad if we didn't uh, make it. Alright, so you have the option. You can take the road and follow that around. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just cut through here. But keep in mind that some of the vehicles will have issues with this terrain. Like that water hole is super deep. You don't want to get in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 Man. I don't know why this thing leans so bad. another tower. This makes three. Boom. Uno, dos, tres. Three more to go. And we can come back across here. Hopefully not into any snakes or frog or whatever. I don't want to kill any wildlife or anything. Wrong game for that. low impact <laughs> uh, building stuff. Okay, so there's a spot coming up. Um, it's a ice bridge. Well, I call it the ice bridge. Um, Got to keep in mind that the current, you have to watch the current. It, the wind thinks so, because it's a lake, right? But, it's a dam, right? So the current is the, it's moving, as you can see. It well, should be closer to it. You'll see. Um, stone bridge, ice bridge, whatever you want to call it. You want to make sure you stay. As you can see, the current is moving there in front of us. If you don't do it right, you will get sucked down into that lake. As you can see in the distance behind me over there toward that white building, that's a dam. So you don't want to go that way. So what I do is I go above, like shine above my uh, camera and stay on the on the rocks. As long as you keep moving, we'll be good to go. Again, we're not triggering any missions. Those will come as we go along. We are on the a mission for towers, nothing else. Okay, so the second half of this bridge is kind of a little bit trickier, especially when you get to the other opposite side. So just drive and hope for the best. Don't get yourself offline because it will pull you into the water. Again, I try to stay above so I can see into the water. Right analog stick. stick pulls your camera up and down. Um, it's not deep enough to drown you, so don't worry about that. It's just uh, and when you get to the other side, you kind of just want to drive off into the, into the land. There you go. Again, we are not headed for any missions eBay Motors, they have all the right parts at the right prices, whether I'm on... Uh, we're not headed for any missions. There's a mission there, but I'm not going for it. We're going to mosey on. 
was an upgrade. I go for it. I'm gonna get me. Separate video. So what we're gonna do is it's gonna go to the top. Take your time. Um, is there a way to go up this path? No. You know what? We're gonna take the top of the hill. Now, we're going to be coming back through to the, obviously coming through here for that mission we just seen. Um, and this hill climb can be a real pain in the butt. Uh, I've done it with the Fleet Star. Um, it does make it. Uh, keep in mind you don't want to go crazy. You want to make sure you have at least all terrain tires in mind for the Fleet Star. And by now I think once you get to this map you should have be up to that level anyway. As long as you have some money. Uh, like I said, if you've been selling trailers since the beginning, you should be fine. Um, sell the ones you don't need, you can make money on them. You can use that money for upgrades and other things. So, we're coming up on an entrance to another map. It's uh, Drummond Island. My right here. I could go to Drummond Island. So now we are at the top of the map, whereas we were <laughs> the garage down here. So we've already covered, we've opened up all of this area and this path. So this is Drummond Island going here. Gateway to Drummond Island, it says. If I can move that thing out of my way. There we go. Gateway to Drummond Island. But we're not going there, so. We're going to get towers and crap for this map. Again, we have three more to go? Yeah, three more. We'll shift it into highway gear and go. Uh, it's a warehouse up here, as well as a trailer store right here. Coming up on. Uh, it's a great place because there are no fuel places up here. Uh, it'd be a great place to get a fuel trailer and uh, refuel uh, with the rooftop supplies and stuff on these trucks I can refuel pretty good well, shouldn't have run out you know. okay so we're gonna climb up here shift it in the, oh, without breaking my truck I always go by the flagpole in the guardrail but you can go up down a little further and climb up that way but this is just how I do it Up through the valley. Now we're going to the top. Now, uh, generally, I'm, I have doing this with, with stuff on the back of my truck. But we will be doing it that way. This time, of course. Okay, to so the tower. Again, I'll show you where we're at as soon as we're done here. Hit the map. And this is the top part of the map. Look at all the upgrades. Boom, boom, boom more missions. So we have two more towers to get, which are here and here. So we need to mosey down through all of this S-curves and stuff like that to get down through over here and end up that way. Um, I know the map, so I don't set wave points. Wave points? Wave, wave, wave points. Um, I generally just go for it. Uh, in my opinion, I think I might have said this before, uh, this first four maps in Michigan are probably my favorite maps, mission-wise and all together. I mean, there are good maps coming up, don't get me wrong. I think it's because I played them so many times, this Michigan map. Uh, there are so many missions to do in this first set of four. I mean, the because you have Drummond Island, well, you, well, you start at Black River, and then you have Smithville Dam, Drummond Island, and Island Lake. Uh, between the four maps, and all of the missions, uh, we're going to get to them, of course, but the missions as far as logging, and all of the missions, I mean, you have, oh, jeez, I don't even know how many hours, I would say at least 40 hours of gameplay. 
I'm not even joking. It's probably more than that, to be honest. So, we're just going to grind and keep on trucking here. We've got two more towers to find. And, uh, we'll be on our way. I'm trying to be... What do you call it? Quick, but yet informative. Yeah, that's a word. <laughs> uh, I hope everybody's enjoying the content up to this point. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments or whatever it is, drop drop a comment. Say hi. Say what's up. Say new to the sub, new to the channel. If you're not new and you're a repeat offender. If you're a repeat offender, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that like button. Share it out. I mean, maybe even share it off to Twitter and, and all that little stuff helps. I mean, a thumbs up helps. I mean, a comment actually helps. You just say hi. You don't have to say anything. You don't, you know, get into detail. Just say hi. Okay, so here's a shortcut. Oh, yeah, one more road. Actually, right. Nope, not yet. A little bit. <laughs> right by this trailer is where it is. There we go. Now you got to be careful coming down this little embankment. So if I bring up the map, it is actually a path. It's not just some place I'm dreaming up here. But you got to be careful. This first drop is a doozy. If you're hauling anything down this, which you, if you do the timed missions, which we'll get to. You're gonna see some crazy stuff. Um, in order to make the timed events, you gotta go take some shortcuts. There's a couple vehicles on the map that are free. I would say two that I remember. We'll be buying those as we go along. I'm like I say, when I play this as, as a, when I'm playing on my own, I don't necessarily do this the way I'm doing it now. I'm actually busy doing missions. As I'm doing the missions, I pick up the towers and I pick up the upgrades. But for you all, I am doing it separate. Not to run into the thing. There we go. Uh, the swamp isn't bad. If you don't get too far out of line, then you'll be all right. I mean, again, these trucks go through so much. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, there, there, is a, there is a path. I'll show you. There is a path that goes through here. But as you can see, I just kind of busted my own trail. Off we go. And if you start spinning a little bit, just shove it into low high or whatever. So it slows that wheel speed down and you can get through stuff. We're making quick work of the map. There are, I don't have the right time, but there are wolves. I don't know if you can see any of this stuff. Not on here, it's a different time of day. Yeah, we're not going to go that way. If we see any of the crazy wildlife. There's certain maps you can see Bigfoot, or the Yeti, or the Sasquatch, whatever you call them, where, you, where you're from. I always say that the Yeti is the snow, the snow one, and Sasquatch too. I think Bigfoot is the more in the winter or the summertime guy, the fall guy. You know, different regions of the world, if you're believing that sort of thing. Alrighty. Here's the missions we're leaving. 
Or just looking out for towers. Like I said, because I know the map as well as I do, I can get to different locations. It's a little bit easier. Alright, we have one more tower to find, as I say. We'll bring up the map again. So we started over here by the garage. We made our way over to this tower, into the swamp by this tower, and then up on the hill by this tower. They come up, once you find them, they're little buildings like this. <coughs> uh, and then we cut through here, we get this one. All we gotta do is find this one right here. And that'll be it. So, in order to get back through here, we're gonna do is, I'm gonna lay, if you get offline going through here, you can tip over. <laughs> And as you can see on the side of the mountain here, there's not too many winch points, so you got to be careful. And this thing bounces around pretty good, so and we'll get this mission done, and then we'll get ready for the next one. I mean, this isn't really a mission. It's just smart to do it this way, mainly because it opens up the map. And you can find missions and all that stuff. <clears throat> I generally do the upgrades and missions all at the same time, I'm not gonna lie. But for y'all, I'm gonna separate it. Separate videos. Obviously if you're doing this and you see a dang upgrade, grab it. You know, it's going to save you some time. Grab your missions, too. What well, does that hurt, right? Didn't hurt at all. Now, you don't want to go left on that spot because it will take you down across the water to a different location. We need to stay up on the hill here. <coughs> Keep in mind the terrain is angled and dips and valleys and all that stuff. If you're trying to go too fast or trying to go too crazy, to hold my beer, watch this type thing, you will tip over and you will be screwed. I mean, especially if you're using in-game vehicles, not modded vehicles. Like I say, these vehicles have the autonomous winches on them and available to put them on there. Whereas, like the Fleet Star, the Great Truck, does not have the autonomous winch. I'm trying to keep my eye open for my opportunity to cut through the trees here. And here's the spot. All right, I'm gonna shove it in the low, get through the trees, and hopefully they don't hook the branches. These pine trees, they like to grab you. Alright. How did I know? I just sensed it. Because you didn't see me open up the map. Alright. Alright, so that's it. Ladies and germs. Boys and girls. We have found all of the towers. And they'll open up the whole map. Again, the garage is here. Here's to Smithville. Or not Smithville. Black River, of course. And then way at the top, through all of the switchbacks, as you can see here, is Drummond Island. But as you can see, we have upgrades we got to find. Uh, I believe there's seven of them on the whole map. Eight of them. So that'll be in the next video. I want to thank everybody for watching this one. Smash the like button, share it out, tweet it, whatever you want to do. Leave a comment, yada, yada, whatever. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.